In this subnetting example, I'm going to solve for four subnetworks. So this is going to be a little bit different. So I need to ask myself, all right, what am I looking for? I'm looking for subnetworks. How many? I'm looking for four. So what exponential value of two is going to give me at least four subnetworks? So I can look here at my little diagram, and I see that two to the two will give me four, uh, just gives me four. So my subnetwork portion will be two to the two. Now my subnetwork bits are always turned on. So here I've borrowed two host bits to put in my network portion. So I'm going to turn on the 128 and the 64 bit. So how many bits does that leave off? It leaves off one, two, three, four, five, six. So that, that makes my host value two to the six. Remember, whenever you're looking at your um, exponents, your values must always add up to eight because I'm dealing with a class C um, IP address. So my class C subnet mask is only the last octet is the host portion. So six plus two is eight. So perfect. I've accounted for everything. Let's run the camera going a little fuzzy. There we go. All right, so two to the two gives me four, and two to the six gives me 64 hosts per subnetwork. Now what I learned earlier is I have to allow for my network and my broadcast address on each of those subnetworks, so I have to subtract two. So I really have 62 hosts per subnetwork. Uh, my magic number is the value of the last bit that I've turned on. I turned on the 128, and I turn on the 64. I always work from left to right. So my magic number is 64. My subnet mask, I add up the total bits that are on. So here in this example, I went ahead and showed you the subnet mask in binary, so it would make a little bit more sense. So a class C subnet mask is going to be 11111111 dot 11111111 dot 11111111 dot and then these would be all zeros for the host portion. But since I've borrowed two bits, I have to add up those values. So 128 plus 64 will give me 182. So my new subnet mask is 255, 255, 255.192. Now I'm going to list out my networks. This will be a little bit easier because I only have four total subnetworks. I always start with the zero network, 192. 15, 1, 0, and then I count by my magic number right here. 192, 15, 1, 64, 192, 15, 1, 128, and then 192, 15, 1, 192. My range is going to be all the, all the host um, IP addresses that fall between the network and the broadcast. So sometimes it's easier to put your broadcast in because it's always the very last possible address before your next network. So here it's going to be 192, 15, 1.63, 192.15, 1.127, 192.15, 1.191, and then 192.15, 1.2. 255, which is your very last possible value. All right, my range will be everything that falls in between. So I'm just going to do a, um, the first one I'll write out and I'll do shorthand. So 192.15.1.1 1 through 192.15.1.62. 1 That's all my possible host addresses. So you'll notice that if you add all those up, dot one, dot two, dot three, dot four, dot five, all the way up to dot 62, it'll be a total of 62 possible addresses. So my next range will be from 65 to 126, uh, 129 to 190, and then 193 to 254. All right, so that's how you solve for subnetworks. Remember, whichever one you're solving for, if I'm solving for subnetworks, I find my, my exponential value and put it in my subnetwork portion. If I'm solving for hosts, then I would find my exponential value and put it in my host portion. 
these exponents must always equal 8 because I'm only looking at the 8 bits in the host portion of a class C subnet mask. Once I do that, I have to determine, magic, determine my magic number by looking at the value of the last bit that I turned on. And my subnet mask is totaling up all the bits that are on. So if you notice, if all of your bits are on, your value is 255. And then you have to just add up the bits that you borrowed for your subnetwork portion to give you the value of your last octet. And then you list them all out, starting with your zero network and then counting by your magic number in that last octet. Uh, your broadcast address is the, is the last possible address before your next network in your range is everything that falls in between. So hopefully that's a good um, review of subnetting.